cut it. Uh, you forgot to finish the spuds. Whatever. No, not whatever. Cook your spuds. Look, there's an entire spud. Needs to be cooked. Let you, push. quit crying. You onion cutter. All right, the Burke Bunch are making some stew. So the, the mom is showing us the magic techniques she has for making the perfect stew. Cutting right? the meat up into bite-sized pieces. I don't buy the stewing beef because I like a more tender cut of meat in my stew. So we just go pure filet mignon. <laughs> but a nice roast, chop it up into good yummy pieces. While Yogi's over there peeling some spuds. He's a master spud peeler. And while these two wait for anything to drop. Anything. Meatball theory. Meatball theory is the theory that if one thing fell once, it could happen again. So you just wait forever. Hoping and for that meatball. You hope that meatball will fall. And this actually happened with a real meatball. Baxter was hanging out, waiting, 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 and then a meatball flipped off while being prepared, and it was like the mother load. Perfect. And now we call it the meatball theory because Baxter will never, ever, ever leave the uh, area while food's being pre prepared. All right, so the first step is to coat the beef with flour, dredge coat, it in flour. Dredge it? Dredge it. Isn't that like digging mud out of a, a river? You kind of like pull it through nice. flour. Nice. One of the reasons we uh, coat the, the beef with flour as I think, anyway, is it kind of thickens the stew. Where's the knife? You don't use scissors? <laughs> uh, Yogi, you, no, no, knife. You should wear your, uh, Not, where's your apron. Where's your cook chef apron? <clears throat> okay, you, you, no, you're banned. So like that big? Uh, yeah. You know they don't actually do it that way. Do you realize that, eh? Too thick! Aha! Meatball theory at work. Carrot. Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep those on the counter. Oh. What do you gotta do? You gotta make the chores fun. It's an adventure. Excuse me. You can see we are hardcore vegetarians here in the uh, Burke Bunch household. Me! Me! me. I think you meant me. meatitarians. No, okay, maybe meatitarians. Especially Liam. Give him a woolly mammoth, he'd be gone in a week. I'll hold it till your stool's in place. Stool's in place! Don't touch the side. Yeah. Another you know what happened the last time you took something hot? Oh yeah. What do you do with those? Meatball. <laughs> She's not eating. Great time. Great. Good okay, boy, like, Baxter. Garlic, like, I like garlic, but it doesn't really like me. Are you gonna cook for your future girlfriend, Liam? What? Add it with the meat, and it um, makes the stew a little heartier. Give it a Richer flavor. Mix that all around. Beef broth. Gosh darn it, we want flavor. And then you just put enough water or broth to cover the meat. Oh, the ultimate stew. Look at that. And then this is the stewing part. I think it's like an hour and a quarter, something like that. Don't put the potatoes in yet, or they'll be too soft. It's stewing. That's why they call it stew. Okay. Taste test time. Mmm. That's my favorite kind. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> 
So after the beef has stewed for about an hour and a quarter on low, we add the carrots and the potatoes. So I bring it back to a boil so that uh, it's hot enough. I've added some boiling water uh, to cover the potatoes and carrots after I put them in. And uh, as you can see, nice and hearty. It's uh, pretty flavorful. Can't wait. Yeah, I've had friends who said they didn't like stew and then I fed this to them and they're like, oh, this is good stew. We like stew now. Yeah, it's really thick soup. Thick soup with like chunks. And then we can dip our biscuits in. Because I love dipping biscuits. Adding the peas and uh, frozen peas and green beans. I'm gonna just cut these up. Gotta squeeze vegetables in wherever I can. For the kids' sake, not mine. I eat lots of veggies. They eat lots of vegetables, just they're always potatoes. It's officially a vegetable. Push down hard. And wiggle a little bit. Yeah, wiggle a little bit. A little biscuit. Can I pick it the same way? 18 bucks a biscuit. 18 bucks, wow. <laughs> I'm not going to your restaurant. 18 bucks a biscuit? Whew. Better be good biscuits. Oh, what are you doing, Logan? Eating the... Uh-oh, you shouldn't eat the dough. Not good for you. All right. I think they uh, hover around Logan. They've decided that statistically speaking, he's the most likely to drop his food on the floor. And the stew is ready. And so are the biscuits. Mm. All right. So boys, fresh biscuits, are they good? And the stew? Stew is done. Mm -hmm. Biscuits. How about you, Logan? Are you a dipper or a non-dipper? Non-dipper. You don't, what? You don't dip your biscuits in your stew? Liam, cut them off. Bunch of freaks. They don't okay. dip in their stew. Do you dip your bread and your buns with butter mm -hmm. on it in your soup and your stew? Leave it in the comments. Good idea. Put it in the comments because I am a dipper. I love dipping. I don't dip my donuts. <laughs> but I do. Biscuits and stuff. I'm a dipper. Are you a dipper? Good job on the uh, stew today, guys. Good job. This was a team effort. Everybody helped out. We had Liam. I cut the carrots, and then he did <laughs> Liam cut and shaved the carrots. Oh. Yogi was in charge of potatoes, and he helped roll out biscuits. Mom was kind of the overseer of everything. So she kind of kept us in line, and I got to eat it. All right, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our stew episode. What's your favorite soup? Do you like making stew, homemade soup, turkey soup? And don't forget to vote. Are you a dipper or not? We're stupor awesome. Stupor. Whatever that means, sure. Stupor awesome. All right. We will see you next time.